Hi, I'm Janet Ingle, the five minute read maker. If you're watching this on YouTube, would you go ahead and click subscribe for me and maybe even notify. This way you always know when I drop a new episode and it makes it easier for other people to find my channel and become better, faster read makers and happier musicians. Thank you. I posted a video last week about how to hold your mandrel while you are winding, while you are scraping, while you are working on oboe reeds. And it, I, I got a request immediately for how do you hold an English horn reed? And again, right, th this question seems so obvious. It's an English horn reed, you hold it. But it does feel awkward. It feels awkward for so many people. It feels awkward for me, frankly. And so I will indeed talk about how I hold an English horn reed to scrape on it. Well, I fear this video may be disappointing because frankly, I just hold it. But let's see if I can be helpful in some way. When I'm making an English horn reed, um, I sort of lay the reed across my hands just as I do with oboe reeds. The problem is there's no like cork down here to hold on to to help stabilize it. But I find that if I just sort of inch up and allow my thumb to rest even on the cane part of the reed, it's really not that big a problem to access the part of the reed I want to scrape. But if this doesn't feel comfortable to you, if you just like can't get a hold of the thing, um, you could try. You know, I've talked in other videos about my poor man's English horn mandrel, which is just an oboe staple that uh, with its cork scraped away. And I use this on top of a regular oboe mandrel when I want to wind English horn reeds, but it doesn't have to be on top of an oboe mandrel. It could just be in my hand. If this makes the reed feel more comfortable in your hand for you. And I would say that for me, this doesn't bother me at all. I don't need it, but it's, um, but it's fine. This doesn't get in my way. In the way that an actual English horn mandrel or, you know, an, an oboe staple on top of an oboe mandrel um, does get in my way. I for myself, and my hands are my hands, not your hands, I definitely find it inconvenient to have this big old thing here in my hand. I can't get the reed to be where I need it to be, and I can't get my hands to be comfortable. If this is the thing that you desire to do, just like for oboe reeds, you can sort of plant. Let me see if I can get my camera to pick that up. There we go. Plant your mandrel on a table, and then scooch up to where you're fingers are and maybe this helps you to give it some stability. For me this is much more awkward than just holding the thing. But the distinction I think, the reason we find this so difficult is that the oboe reed sits in your hand, you can sort of let it rest there and hold on to it and then do your work easily enough, sort of zoomed in and right now my thumb is resting the back of my thumb is resting on the thread itself. And I find that I can direct my knife to wherever I need it to be on that oboe reed. The English horn reed is just shorter down here and bigger up here. So you need to have a more expansive way of using your knife. As I'm scraping in the windows there, I've got my thumb on the resting on the thread. Again, my thumb may not be your thumb. If I'm working at the tip, I just go ahead and let my thumb move up. So now I'm resting actually on the cane. It's really no trouble. And because I don't have a strong grip on the reed down here, it's just not really uh, an, a, a piece of discomfort for me. But if you need something a little more supportive to grab onto, try wrecking an oboe mandrel for your purposes, then you can hold it more like an oboe reed, but still don't be afraid to let your thumb sort of ease up and get onto the cane itself, no problem. I hope that this has been helpful. This is a five minute reed maker lesson. You can follow these short videos right here on YouTube. You can subscribe if you wish, I hope you will. And if you want to find me to order reeds or cane or a copy of my book, The Happiest Musician, uh, or to ask me a question that I can answer in a future five minute read maker episode, you can find me at JanetIngle.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.